गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे द डिफरेंट मैथड्स टू कैलकुलेट नेशनल इनकम अकाउंटिंग टू कैलकुलेट नेशनल इनकम इन इकोनॉमिक्स वी हैव द मेनली थ्री मैथड्स दीज आर वैल्यू एडेड मैथड एक्सपेंडिचर मैथड एंड द इनकम मैथड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील डिस्कस अबाउट द वैल्यू एडेड मैथड दिस वैल्यू एडेड मैथड इज नोन एज प्रोडक्ट मैथड एंड आउटपुट मैथड ऑल्सो to calculate national income by the value added method first of all we find the value of gva at mp gross value added at market price gross value added at market price is equal to sales plus change in stock minus ic or intermediate consumption or we can say sales plus change in stock is equal to value of output minus intermediate consumption after we calculate the gva at mp of all the sectors it will be equal to the gdp at mp gross domestic product at market price once we have found the value of gdp at mp then we convert gdp at mp into nnp at fc net national product at factor cost which is known as the national income how to convert this as we have learned all the conversions in the previous video so gdp at mp first of all will convert the gross to net so net uh, net is equal to gross minus depreciation so we could say that we have uh, written here gdp at mp minus depreciation and then we uh, we convert domestic product to national product national product is equal to domestic product plus nfi a net factor income from abroad and factor cost mp uh, market price to fc we have to convert then factor cost is equal to market price minus nit net indirect taxes so we have seen the steps involved in the calculation of national income by value added method number 1 we find the value of uh, value of output or we can say we find the value of output is equal to sa sales plus change in stock and then we subtract intermediate consumption from the value of output and now after after we have calculated the gv at mp of all the sectors then it this will be equal to gdp at mp and then we convert the gdp at mp to nnp at fc which is the net national product at factor cost and this variable is known as the national income in economics now we'll uh, learn all the steps one by one with the examples so first of all we are talking about value added method by the value added method as we have discussed that we are talking about gdp at mp and gdp at mp is equal to gva at mp of all the sectors this is gdp gdp at mp is equal to gva at mp of all the sectors as we are saying or suppose we have been given the three sectors so first of all we'll calculate the gva at mp of primary sector then plus gva at mp of secondary sector and then plus gva at mp of tertiary sector if we are given all the three sectors and by adding the gva at mp of all these three sectors it will be equal to the gdp at mp in the another way we could say if we are given suppose we have not been given the value of output and intermediate consumption sector wise then it can be given to us in the form of the different forms suppose gdp at mp and we have to calculate uh, by the gva at mp so will be given 
gba at mp of form a plus gba at mp of form b plus gba at mp of form c plus n numbers n numbers of n number of forms whatsoever has been given so by adding the gba at mp of the different sectors of the different forms we can find the value of gdp at mp now we'll see how to calculate the value of output and intermediate consumption so we have seen to calculate gb at mp what's your formula it will always be equal to value of output suppose if we have to find out the value of gba at mp of firm a so the formula will be equal to value of output minus intermediate consumption so now the question arises how to calculate the value of output to find the value of output it will be equal to sales and plus change in stock sales plus change in stock so how to calculate the value of sales sales will be equal to we'll have to find out in the numerical the sales will be given either to the households plus sales to firm plus sales to government all these three sales in the combined form will be known as the domestic sales then we'll add international sales in this which is equal to export so domestic sales plus export will be equal to the value of sales will be equal to sales and this sales this sales will just uh, take to calculate the value of output now we'll see how to calculate change in stock we have seen how to calculate the sales and now we'll see how to calculate change in stock to find the value of output change in stock is equal to change in stock is equal to closing stock minus opening stock don't make the mistakes by uh, taking the value opening stock minus closing stocks these are the common errors uh, we commit so change in stock will be equal to closing stock minus opening stock now we we'll learn how to calculate the value of ic intermediate consumption so intermediate consumption is equal to purchase in the same way as we uh, we calculated the value of sales in the same way we calculate purchase purchase from firms plus from government plus from households or from the individuals in the combined form all these purchase will be equal to domestic purchase this is known as the domestic purchase and in this domestic purchase will add on the international purchase which will be equal to import 
so to calculate intermediate consumption will have to uh, calculate the value of purchase and purchase any purchase from any any firm the purchase from the government purchase from the households all these in the combined form are equal to the domestic purchase and then in this purchase we add in international purchase also which is the import so to calculate gva at mp of any firm firm a firm b or primary sector secondary sector tertiary sector whatsoever has been given we first of all we find the value of gva at mp gross value added at the market price now we see we have uh, find out the value of gv at mp of the different firms and addition of all these gva at mp gv at mp of all the sectors of all the firms will be equal to gdp at mp and now we have to calculate the value of nnp at fc so nnp at fc is equal to national income this is equal to national income so now we'll convert gdp at mp into national income or into nnp at fc gdp at mp now we'll see the conversion first of all gross to net so we had learned in the conversions if we have to find the value of net will do minus depreciation minus depreciation and to find out the value of national product will do national product is equal to net factor income from abroad and then we'll find out the value of fc factor cost will be equal to market price minus nid so this will be uh, we have to calculate the value of factor cost so this will be a uh, factor cost will be equal to minus this will be equal to minus nid net indirect taxes so like this we can convert gdp at mp into the national income now we'll go through some numerical some examples how to calculate the gdp at mp and how to convert it into the nnp at fc so now we'll go through some examples some numericals then after after this we'll discuss the precautions and steps so first of all we take this numerical in this we have been given calculate the value of gross value added at factor cost this question is asking us to calculate the value of gross value added at factor cost gva at fc as we have gone through the conversions then in that we have discussed all these variables i hope all of you have gone through this video and now we come on this how to calculate this now see one thing here just here to calculate the value of sales we have been given the units of output sold the units of output sold 1000 and the value of price per unit has been given which is equal to 30 okay then depreciation has been given 1000 and uh, then i see 12000 closing stock 3000 rupees opening stock 2000 excise duty so excise duty and sales tax it will be equal to nit okay so what will be the value of nit we can calculate it here only 0055103456 so 6000 will be equal to nit net indirect taxes now we'll calculate this now we'll learn how to calculate it so in the numerical 
we have been given i hope all of you can uh, go back and see the numerical if you want to see here uh, we are going to solve this so first of all we'll write the formula it's just asking to calculate gb at fc but to calculate the gb at fc also first of all we'll have to find out the gdp at mp gdp at mp we had discussed if the single firm has been given in that case the gdp at mp will be equal to gba at mp because they, there is no other firm had been given so it will be equal to gba at mp okay so now see how to calculate gdp at mp first of all to calculate gdp at mp we have to find out the value of output and then we'll have to find out the value of ic this is the formula to calculate gdp at mp so to find out the value of output what do we want value of output is equal to sales plus change in stock so here first of all we'll have to calculate the value of sales and in the numerical we had seen that the sales was given per unit price was given so we'll find out the value of sales so this will be equal to 1000 into 30 rupees each so sales will be equal to 30,000 rupees. Sales will be equal to 30 rupees, 30,000 crore. And now change in stock. And we want the value of change in stock. So this will be equal to change in stock had been given there 1,000. Again, we'll just go back to the numerical. In the change in stock, we'll see change in stock okay uh, closing stock minus opening stock so we could see in the numerical the closing stock is given 3000 and opening stock is given uh, 2000 so we could find out the value of closing stock this will be equal to 3000 minus 2000 so change in stock is equal to 1000 so by this we find the value of change in stock also so now we have the value of sales this is 30000 and change in stock is equal to 1000 so what will be the value of output then this is what will be the value of output sales plus change in stock so value of output has become equal to 30000 plus 1000 is equal to 31000 so please keep remember value of output is equal to 31000 now and now we'll find out the value of this is ic intermediate consumption all of you can see this uh, by going back so uh, please keep remember value of output had been there 31,000 and now we'll find the value of IC. What's the value of IC? Again, let's see intermediate consumption. Intermediate cost has already been given. This is the 12,000. You could see intermediate cost rupees. This is 12,000. So now we'll deduct the 12,000 from the uh, value of output this is ic is equal to 12000 so value of output had been value of output we calculated sorry we calculated 30 uh, this is 30 
1000 and then we found the value of IC which is equal to 12,000. So now it will be equal to GDP at MP 31,000 minus 12,000. This will be equal to 19,000. Okay, so GDP at MP is equal to 19,000. Now the numerical asks us to calculate the value of GVA at FC. Gross value added at factor cost. So now we'll convert this GDP at MP into the GVA at FC. Numerical asks us to calculate GVA at FC and we have to convert GDP at MP into GVA at FC. So gross to gross, there will be no conversion, value added, obviously, domestic product. So there will be only one conversion, GDP at MP, FC to MP, sorry, MP to FC. So when will we have to convert MP to FC, so FC was equal to factor cost was equal to MP minus MP minus and IT, net indirect taxes. I hope all of, all of you remember, uh, we had already found the value of NIT. What's the value of GDP at MP? What was the value of GDP? This was 19,000. Then minus NIT. NIT was equal to 6,000. So the value of GB at FC will be equal to rupees 13,000 crores. I hope the things are clear. How to calculate all these? First of all, we'll find the value of GDP at MP. If we are given any numerical to calculate national income by value added method. So first of all, we'll find the value of GDP at MP. And then we'll, we'll convert this GDP at MP into the NNP at FC or whatsoever the variable is being asked to be converted. Now we come on the second numerical. This is, this is calculate net value added at factor cost. In the first numerical, they asked us to convert, GV, uh, convert GDP at MP into the GV at FC. And in the second numerical, they are asking us to calculate net value added at factor cost. So now how to calculate this net value added at factor cost? Again, just to notice, they have given us the output sold. Units have been given. 2,000 units are there. And what is the price per unit of every uh, uh, of the output? This is rupees 10. So again, we'll find the value of sales first, number of units into the price per unit. So 2000 into 10, it will be equal to 20,000. Okay, so the value of sales will be 20,000. Please uh, keep remember. And then we'll see. First of all, we'll find the value of GDP at MP in this also, and then we'll convert the GDP at MP into the into net value added at factor cost. We'll solve this also. One by one, we'll learn how to solve this. So first of all, we come, we calculate GDP at MP again. This is the numerical number second. This is second. Number one, so first of all, we find the value of GDP at MP again. This will be equal to value of output minus IC. Here again, we could notice that only the single form is given. Okay, so to find out the value of output, value of output is equal to again, sales plus change in stock. Okay. So how to find the value of sales in this numerical? They haven't given us the sales directly. They gave us the units 2000 and price 
rupees 10 each. So it will be equal to 20,000. Okay, so it will be equal to 20,000 now. Sales is equal to 20,000. And now we'll see, now we, ha uh, we have to find the value of change in the stock. So let's see, what's the value of change in stock in the numerical given? Let's see, change in stock. Uh, change in stock is there. Okay, they have written net change in stock here. This is the fifth head, this one. Let's see. This is the fifth head, net change in stock. See, the value has been given in minus. So, we'll do one thing. Sales. The value of sales is 20,000. So, to find out the value of output, now change in stock has been given in Change in stock is equal to minus 50. So, what will be the value of output is equal to sales. Sales is equal to 20,000. And we have to do plus change in stock. We'll, had, uh, we'll uh, write the plus and minus 50 here. Okay. So, value of output will be equal to just... 19,000, 19,950. So, this is the value of output we have calculated. Okay. So, now we'll see how to calculate the value of IC now. Okay. Please keep remember value of output was equal to 19,950. Now we see in the numerical what's the value of IC, intermediate consumption. Either it has been given to us directly or we'll have to calculate this. We see. Let's see what's the value of intermediate consumption. Oh, it, it has been given directly. That's great. Intermediate cost is equal to rupees. 10,000. Okay, so now how to calculate this? This will be equal to what was the value of output we find out right now? The value of output was VOO we had already written VOO value of output we found out this was 19,950 and what was what's the value of IC? IC is equal to intermediate cost was given rupees 10,000. So now what will be the GDP at MP? So GDP at MP will be equal to 19,950 minus 10,000. And this is equal to rupees 9,950. So, this is the value of GDP at MP. Now, we are being asked in the numerical to calculate the value of NBA at FC. So, we have to convert this GDP at MP into the NBA at FC. Okay. So, how to convert this? Now, we see GVA at This is, they asked us to calculate the value of NBA at FC. So, we'll convert GDP at MP into NBA at FC. So, first conversion, the very first conversion grows to net. Whenever we have to find the value of net to gross minus depreciation you can go through the previous videos gross minus depreciation is equal to net uh, domestic product is equal to value added no doubt and fc now we have to convert mp into fc so to find out the value of fc we'll write fc is equal to mp minus and it so this is the 
third conversion. So to find the value of NB at FC, we have to do GDP at MP minus depreciation and then minus NIT. Now we'll see all the, these values. This is uh, GDP at MP. We had seen what's the value of GDP at MP we found out. This was equal to GDP at MP was equal to 9,950 and then depreciation, depreciation had been there minus 600 in the numerical. You can go through this and then minus NIT, NIT's value is coming in minus 100. NIT, to find out the value of NIT, we had seen and IT is equal to IT indirect taxes minus subsidies. So when you will go through the numerical, you will find out the value of IT has been given 400 and the values of subsidy has been given 500. So this is equal to 100 minus 100. So that's why to calculate the uh, NIT, the value uh, value is in with minus minus 100 so we have written because here we have to minus nit so we'll write 9950 minus 600 and then in the bracket minus 100 the value of nit when we open all the calculations then the value of nva at fc will be equal to 9450 Okay, so I hope the things are clear how to calculate the GDP at MP and how to convert it into the variables given whatsoever the variable they have asked us. Please learn the conversions accurately, practice for the conversions so that there must be no mistake and uh, take care of the plus and minus signs especially. Now we come on the third question. This is the find net value added at market price. Now, this is the third example we are going to discuss. Find net value added at market price. Now, this question is asking us to calculate NVA at MP. Again, we could see the value of sales has not been given to us directly. Output sold in the units, 800 units have been sold at the price per unit, rupees 20. So, obviously, the sales will be equal to uh, 800 into 20 is equal to 16,000 rupees. Okay, so sales will be equal to this. We can calculate it here only. And uh